Austin McBroom is finally speaking out about his fight last week and announcing some pretty big decisions for the future of his boxing career and the future of their channel. This past weekend, Austin fought Gibb and ended up losing at his own event. This was Austin's second Social Gloves event, and after winning against Bryce Hall last year, his ego was huge. He was so sure that he was going to win, and he made sure that everyone knew it. Gibb has finally passed his medical exams, and he is clear to fight his worst nightmare, which is me. But it didn't work out that way. After being knocked out four times, the fight was called, and Austin landed himself in the hospital. The wound right here, but I'm good. He returned to YouTube with a video titled, The Day After the Fight. Austin started this video off a little bit speechless. You could tell that he was feeling a little bit embarrassed, but he did start off by congratulating Gibb on his win. Last night was so much fun. I can honestly say that I had the time of my life. Gibb, congratulations, my man. Well deserved. I'm so proud of you, bro, from the bottom of my heart. I'm proud of you, man. He also talked about his time in the hospital. He said when he was admitted, all the nurses knew his name and claimed they were a part of the Ace family. When I got to the hospital, there was a few doctors, a few nurses that knew who I was. Um, they were, a few of them were part of the Ace family. He made a comment about how these nurses had such a nerve to ask him, Austin McBroom, what happened to his face as if he was shocked that these nurses weren't somehow taking time away from their job just to watch him fight. And uh, <laughs> they had the nerve to ask me, Austin, what happened? <laughs> and I was like, you guys didn't see it? Like, they were like, no, what, what happened? I'm like, just, just go watch it. I also love how he assumes that these nurses knew him just because they knew his name. Did it not cross his mind even once that they might know his name because, I don't know, maybe they have his file on hand? Or maybe they were just trying to make conversation with you to see if you had a concussion. I'm not the only one that thought this comment was a little bit strange either, because someone in the comment said, They had the nerve to ask me, Austin, what happened? Yes, Austin, they really had the nerve to do their job and ask you why you're at the hospital. Asking questions is a part of determining your awareness and alertness after being bashed in the head several times. Austin also said that even though he hates losing, he feels like he really needed to lose. He said that Catherine has really hated him boxing and she's been really unhappy with the whole situation. Now, we've known about this for a while now. Catherine has said multiple times on her Snapchat and on her YouTube channel that she really hates Austin boxing. And so you guys know how I feel about the boxing. Like I've mentioned it before. I mentioned it last year. I get it. It's a sport, you know, like even I watch it, like I get entertained. But at the same time, like I don't want someone that I love in a ring. And I feel like at the end of the day, like anything can happen and it's just still dangerous. She even did a whole prank on Austin, saying she was going to leave him if he chose to continue doing it. So this is really nothing new, and maybe it just took Austin getting seriously hurt and ending up in the hospital for him to realize and consider her feelings. We have to remember that they do have kids, and it only takes one wrong move to change your life forever. When Austin lost, Jake Paul actually tweeted and said something along the lines of, You can't play boxing. And that's exactly it. I feel like Austin just saw a bunch of YouTubers getting into boxing and making tons of money and actually gaining some respect outside of YouTube. I feel like he saw the money, he saw the respect, and he saw these people being able to move on from YouTube and start a career in that space. And while there's nothing wrong with him wanting that, it kind of feels like he expected it to be another get rich quick thing. One win against Bryce Hall, and he thought he could go on and box people like KSI who've been at this for years now. Austin goes on to say that had he have won, he probably would have gone on and continued his journey with boxing. Everything happened the way it was supposed to happen last night. I really do feel that I needed that. He feels like that would have separated not only him and Catherine even more, but it would have taken him away from the Ace family. Catherine 
she hasn't been happy about me boxing. It's been kind of separating us and our, and our family. I would have obviously continued this boxing journey. There really wouldn't have been no stopping or me taking a break. And that only would have separated me and Catherine and the family that much more. And it would have slowly taken me away from the Ace family. And the Ace family is, is the reason why I'm here today. But let's not forget, Austin and Catherine said they were quitting YouTube. Why does he care if his time is being taken away from the Ace family when they're literally supposed to be quitting YouTube by the end of the year? It really just feels like an excuse for him to stop boxing because he's either embarrassed, no one will take him seriously, or the people that he wants to fight, like Jake Paul and KSI, will never take him up on that offer now. Austin goes on to admit that the content on the Ace Family YouTube channel has been so dry lately, and even says him and Catherine haven't been the same Ace Family. What I truly love and what I truly love doing is creating content, and this boxing took me away from that. As you guys know, me and Catherine, we haven't been the same Ace Family for a little while now. And that's obviously because all our energy was into this boxing. He admitted that he lost track of why he started creating content in the first place and losing to Gibb made him realize that and humble him. If you guys have been keeping up with the Ace Family and all their drama, you'll know that their actual fans have been saying the same thing for a while now. If you go back and watch some of their earlier videos together, it's just them having fun and they seem pretty happy. Every video they post now is always them showing off. The house tours, the car, all their failed business ventures and lawsuits, calling everyone haters. They've lost a lot of their fans' trust and their comment section is a huge sign of that. For the past few months, I've noticed more and more comments from their fans noticing a change in Austin and Catherine. Like, it's such a shame to see how these guys have fallen. I still have a lot of love for them. Their videos got me through my teenage years in quarantine, but I also cannot agree with what they stand for anymore. Shame. Their videos don't even reach 1 million views anymore. I don't celebrate their downfall. I feel sorry for them. And that's another thing that I'm sure is weighing on their minds right now their views. It's no secret that a lot of YouTubers' views have dropped recently. People are back at work, they're in school, and trying to get out more and make up for all the lost time during lockdowns. It's normal to have good and bad months, but the Ace Family views have really fallen off. They used to get anywhere from 2 to 10 million views per video, and now they aren't even hitting a million. Austin went on to say that he needs to take a break and he's done with boxing for now. He doesn't know if he'll be done forever, but he wants to get back to YouTube and his family. I'm not going to say that I won't ever step back into the ring again. Physically, as of right now, I do need to take a break. Not just me, but me and Catherine also want to get back to the old Ace family. and get back to us being vulnerable again because I feel like that's what you guys want and that's what you guys need from us. A lot of people in the comments are actually shocked because this is the first time that Austin has shown even a little bit of vulnerability in his videos. Here's what people had to say. He really knocked some sense into him. Don't forget where you were, how you started, and easily can lose it all. Always stay humble. As an Ace Family member, I'm glad you lost. I wasn't rooting for you to lose, but I am glad. We've all been missing the real, genuine Austin. Hopefully, it comes back. I'm really glad you lost, not in a sense that I wanted to see you lose, but this is the first time I've actually seen you down to earth with making a video. Now, hopefully Austin actually means what he's saying, and maybe losing was the wake-up call that he needed, but I wouldn't get your hopes up too soon. Like I said earlier, Austin knew Catherine didn't like him boxing, so this kind of just feels like an excuse. I think he knows that the people that he wants to fight probably won't fight him now, and maybe Social Gloves isn't as successful as he's making it out to be. Austin did make a point of saying that if any numbers come out about the pay-per-views or the tickets sold, that they aren't true unless it comes from him. I'm not sure if... if any numbers or anything has came out because I haven't really been on my phone like that. But if there are any numbers that arise or come out, 
uh, that people try to create a narrative on how the event did. The only people that know the real numbers are Social Gloves, myself, and Stream Online. Please don't believe what you know the media or people try to portray and tell you guys because it's, it's not true. Which just makes me think that he's already worried about those numbers coming out and people finding out how well or how not well that the event did. I mean, we can see from the stadium alone that it wasn't a sold out event, so the only real hope that he has is the pay-per-views, and something tells me that probably isn't that high either. I feel like if he knew that this event did amazing, he would just let the numbers speak for themselves, but him making a point to address it tells me he might be feeling a little bit embarrassed. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think Austin's quitting because he's actually worried about Catherine and he does want to focus on content? Or do you think it's just an excuse? Let me know and I'll see you next time.